What if men no longer need to spend time and effort trying to find love? What if rather than try to make her like you back, you can just buy a bot and make it look like her? And when you're over her, you can make the bot look like the new flame. And on and on. Hello and welcome. We're discussing an interesting possibility today. So join us and relax. Japan is one of the leading nations in the field of robotics. They are also the leading country in anime and manga. Over the years, Japanese experts like Hiroshi Ishiguro have led and just about dominated all the action around making the most realistic robots. Have you heard of Erika and the Geminoid robots? Yes, they're all his work. Brilliant man, won't you say? If you haven't heard of him, don't worry, we've got you covered in this video about the most realistic female robots. But these robots, advanced as they are, we're always riding on the edge of the uncanny valley. That feeling of discomfort you get when something is like a human but just not right. But no more. Hang on to your hats because Japan has revealed fully performing female robots. We can hear your questions. How realistic is realistic? How is a real robot supposed to work? What does it even do? I mean, we all watched Futurama. We'll answer all your questions, so stick with us to the end. First, it may shock you to know that robots are responsible for more than 60% of the work done in various industries in Japan. Japan is very successful when it comes to robots. They have robots working in heavy machinery industries and within the home. That's how they became the world leaders in robotics. And they've always been interested in making robots that can behave and look exactly like a human. Think about it. A wise-cracking, lovable robot like Bender or one like Calculon, an actor robot. This is actually a reality already with Erika. Isn't that amazing? Japanese human-like robots are completely on another level. However, with the latest advancements in artificial intelligence, Japanese roboticists have elevated their success with humanoid robots to a completely new level. Why do we say this? Recently, Japan unveiled fully functioning female robots, completely blowing all our collective minds. Now, you're thinking, what is so groundbreaking about these robots? Because they're bio-robots. What are bio-robots? Well, they're bots built to mimic human movements and behavior. They also have some human bodily functions. Look at the design of these robots, their movements and how they talk. Even up close, you can hardly tell that's not a real woman. They look very, very real. So real that they sold out within a few days of launch. And if you think there will be a lot of complaints, think again, there were none. Now, why is that? When you touch other robots, you can tell that they do not have human skin. It's cold. And this is where these new robots differ. They are covered in silica gel that feels like human skin and their bodies are warm too, thanks to the special sensors that keep the gel warm to the touch. Many say these new robots have beaten the uncanny valley. What do you think? What do the good reviews say? You need to first know those who have used these robots most, and it's otakus. Otakus are people who are really into anime and manga. And for these people, the robots have been perfect. Many men have said they no longer feel the need for girlfriends. That's how good these robots are. For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? The users have had such great experiences because of one really important thing, customization. They know people are different and their tastes are different too. So the robot you buy can be made into the form and shape you desire. Tall, short, slim or thick or muscular, even hair and eye color can be customized. And don't think they only built these robots to be physical fantasies, they're also quite smart. In fact, the chip is very powerful and you can connect it to every appliance in your house. Your TV, lights, your dishwasher, you're in full control. We've mentioned their movements and expressions before. Their joints are rotatable and flexible, even more than a human's. Okay, it can do all that, but can I talk to this robot like a person? Yes, you can, through machine learning. You see, the more these robots interact, the better they get at interacting. At first, their expressions and responses may not be perfect, but just keep interacting with them and soon you'll forget your friend has a warranty. This is just brilliant, don't you agree? You need to know what these robots were built for. 
You see, the robotics experts in Japan thought about all the people who live very busy lives and have little opportunity for socializing, or those who have a hard time socializing so that they can have someone around them and not be lonely all the time. They also said they created these female humanoids to reduce the imbalance between men and women. There's something else about these robots. It seems they were built to be able to give birth. This is still theoretical, but we hear the internal structure of these female robots was built to resemble that of a woman. We think our robot giving birth is far-fetched, but who knows what the future holds. And remember that the Japanese are constantly improving on their robots. The real question is the ethical one. Should we be doing this? And many people debate this hotly. What are your thoughts on the growing human-robot relationship? Do let us know in the comment section down below. We would love to know your thoughts in this regard. Thank you.